Uh, George Rose, good win for Isaac Hardman out there tonight. Really good win. Great fight for him. Um, I think it ended up being the, the right matchup for him to bring out, you know, bring out the, the Isaac Hardman talented fighter that we know that we've got. Got some rounds in as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I didn't think he was going to when he landed that, that shot in the first round um, and really shook him up. Uh, I, I thought it was going to end. If not then, I thought it was going in the next round. Um, but what a tough, tough opponent. Very tough, very entertaining opponent too. Um, you know, I thought they, they made for a perfect headline uh, for a No Limit on Fox show because such an entertaining fight. And um, again, Isaac Harmon showed that he was able to keep his cool and um, really worked through the worked through the win when uh, when he was taking those shots. You know, realised that nothing was going to stop him. Literally, nothing was going to stop him. So, fortunately, the ref stopped him uh, for his own good in the end. You surprised how, how how fast Kazuki came out in that first round as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, it was it was, it was very unexpected, um, but very exciting. Like I said, you know, I, I want to see a, an exciting main event, and that's what we got. He came came flying out of the gate. It was like a bull out of a gate. You know, Isaac's been talking a lot about these, these, um, you know, waiting in the gate, open the gate, the gate open. And he flew out of it. He flew out of it swinging, and uh, he really put a bit of pressure on Isaac too. So great for him to be able to overcome that pressure and turn it around the way he did. What would you like to see Isaac do now? Um, I, I think there's some. I think there's some great matchups for him here in Australia if people are willing to take those fights. Um, and, and it's what we deserve. As Australian public, we deserve to get to see some really good fights like that. If not, we'll just keep looking for the next opponent for him to keep building his record, keep doing what Isaac Hardman does, and that's put on a show for the fans and, and keep us all entertained. And that was the, the last No Limit on Fox show for, for that little period there. How do you sort of look back on the success of these shows? Personally, I loved it. Uh, I loved it. The, the feedback that I've heard has been really good, really, really positive. Uh, the numbers that we've been getting on TV have been really good too. So we've got everything out of it that we were hoping to get. So going forward, this is something that I really hope that we can keep pushing for Australian boxing. Um, regular fights on a Wednesday night. We've got no sport up against us. It's something to do. People kick them back at home. You can watch some good fights. We get to showcase new talent and also some of our stars of, of Australian boxing get to headline these events. Nikita Zhu and Jack Brubaker in the ring tonight as well. That fight's building nicely. Oh, it was interesting. I, I love watching them talk. You know, Nikita's such a um, quirky, quirky guy and... and when you see someone get under his skin like that, you know, he was going along, he was playing along, but I, I, I thought that Jack got under his skin a little bit. And when you do that with Nikita, it brings out, you know, something special. So I think this fight could be something special. And Jack seems like he's really zoned in on wanting to get this win. But um, one thing that I think I would never do is, is, is talk about the Zoo family. And he keeps mentioning he wants to get one back on the Zoo family. The Zoo family is one family I don't want to mess with. Um, but, you know, he's, he's really poked the bear and, and I think we're going to see a really good, really entertaining fight on August 23rd. Nikita said that Jack might be just looking for a payday, but what do you think the motivations are for Jack in this fight? I think Jack's a fighter. He's a fighter. First and foremost, he's a fighter. He's an entertainer. He's built for this shit. He really is. He's something that... Australian boxing needs. We need characters like this. You know, not, not everyone's going to be a world champion, but you can be a superstar in your own country, and I think that's what Jack Brubaker has the potential to be. And if he, if he gets an upset win against Nikita Zhu, whether you see it as an upset or not, um, you know, it really solidifies him as, as one of the stars of Australian boxing. Now the big news, I guess, of the day is the split with Polo Akuso. Uh, is there anything you can uh, say on that? No, look, I, you know, we, I think Paulo Acuso is a really good boxer, really good boxer. We invested a lot of money and time into him because we believed in him. Um, and, you know, I hope that he does very well with his career because, yeah, like I said, we invested the, the money and time into him because we think that he can be something special. Um, and I think when you, when you work with the Fox Sports platform with No Limit Boxing, big things can happen. Um, and... We look forward to working with the talent that we still have here now and which we're lucky enough to showcase tonight, you know, that guys like Isaac Hardman are back. You know, mm -hmm. we've got Nikita Zhu and Liam Wilson coming up. Um, there's some really good, really exciting fighters still here on the roster that are going to be um, setting Australian screens on fire. Thanks, George. Thank you very much.